Right then, in this video, I am going to take you through the Outcomes tab. So it's a little bit of a longer video, um, but hopefully if you're interested in the math sitting behind these numbers, then it will be of use to you. So the Outcomes tab can be found in the Subject Analysis zone. So let's go in there, and then I'm going to choose a subject um, and choose Biology. Um, now, once I'm in the Biology page, I'm going to navigate to the Outcomes tab. Um, just to say that I am in a year 13 uh, in-year tracking point, but it's exactly the same for year 11 for BTEC, um, exactly the same principles. Okay, I've, I've got an, um, a top table here which says original outcomes. I've got um, a second table here and I've got a calculation. I'm just going to talk you through that. I'm going to hide the thermometer so that we've got full screen view. Right, the um, first table. Now, can we just ignore the word original for a moment because I'm coming back to that and I will explain why that says original. Um, this is the prior attainment table. So these are the Alps A-level prior attainment bands. And these are the students that you have in each of those bands. And the target column is um, the 25th percentile number of points that you need to get with that student to hit the um, aspirational three. So uh, Alps grade three. Now um, that then translates into your MEG effectively. So effectively that's the sort of point sitting behind the MEG. The expected points total then is just timesing the student by the target and getting that expected uh, total uh, column. And then there is your final overall expected for your subject area. You can do this by teaching set as well, by the way. So I've got 3,100 odd. Um, the second table now is your actual. Now this could be an exam um, uh, grid or it could be an in-year monitoring grid as I've got. Either way works the same. So what I've got here is the 32 students and you've got three Bs, 25 Cs and four Ds. And that would give you um, a total actual points of um, two and a half thousand. If I put that into the formula, um, then I get an Alps uh, score of 0.81 and I get a grade of a grade five. OK, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, a couple of things about this table by its very nature. It can only include the students who have a prior attainment score. So what won't, the students who won't be included in this table are students who are, who are black for prior attainment. So you may very well have more than 32 students doing biology, but we are only showing 32 here and in this table because that's the only students who will be involved in this calculation. Now, I'm saying that for a reason. One, so that it doesn't confuse you if you've got, for example, four students with no prior attainment and actually you're sitting there saying, but my number's 36. So um, that's why that number's uh, the, the way that it is. Um, the second reason I'm mentioning it is because of these uh, attainment uh, A, A star to E, et cetera, here. Um, this, again, will only be uh, accounted and calculated for those 32 students. Now, there's a second attainment table and it's in the strategic area and it's in the strategic raw results tab. That's a very different table because that will include all of the students at your um, school or college, regardless of whether they have a prior attainment score or not. So you're likely, if you've got lots of students without prior attainment, you're likely to have a different value here than you have in the raw results. So I hope that makes sense. Um, OK, so that's that's all good and well, that's my calculation. If I just simplify that view, it takes the top table out because that doesn't change. OK, that's always static. What does change is the outcome grades that you get according to whichever grade point you get or if you're doing some manipulation. So let's go back to the student page and there's various different ways in which you might be looking for, at your data. So you, for example, might have put a gender comparison on, OK? If I then go to my Outcomes tab, I can then look at what my um, scores and my calculation um, looks like for um, my girls and my boys, all right? So I could do that with the Outcomes tab. So it's showing me a sort of breakdown then of uh, what's going on. Uh, the other thing that I might be doing, um, that applies to any comparison, by the way, the other thing I might be doing is some modelling. Um, so let's say um, I want to do some what if modelling. Um, I'm going to make it dead simple. I'm going to move these three Bs 
let's move them to A's, okay? Um, and so let's go back to our outcomes tab. And what I've now got is a what if outcomes uh, box. And the what if outcomes box is showing me the difference that those modeled um, increases in grades had on my overall value added. And it's giving me a breakdown. Um, and you can see there, the, these are the, the three um, grades then that I moved um, up to the A grade, okay? Um, so uh, I hope that helps. Um, it just helps for um, some some people just to help to find the, the math sitting behind it and to look at that and to be able to follow that through. Thanks then.